The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. For number 10, we're given two functions f and g, and we're asked to find f composed with g inverse of 4. So the first thing we want to do here is find g inverse. So g of x is given us, given to us in the problem, is equal to x squared minus 5 if x is less than or equal to 0. So in other words, you can think of this as the left half of this parabola. Now that's really important in this problem because if you weren't given that, you wouldn't have an inverse function because it wouldn't be one to one. A parabola is not one to one in general unless you cut half of it off, which is like is what we're doing here. So we only have the left half. So that makes our calculation pretty simple because if you want to solve for the inverse, you switch x and y and solve for y. The problem is with your normal uh, parabolas that when you do this, you get always get y equals plus or minus the square root of x plus 5. But we know, since we took the left half of the parabola, we have the minus part. If we took the right half, we would have had the positive part. So this is our, g, uh, let me write that as then, our g inverse here is negative square root of x plus 5. So now we can continue with the problem. So we are asked to do f compose with g inverse of 4. So first we need to figure out what is f composed with g inverse. So remember when you do composition, you take the outer function f, which is 1 over x plus 2, and instead of x, you plug in the entire function of g inverse, which we have right here. So instead of x, we'll write negative square root x plus 5. Then we just put the plus 2, that was part of the f function. So what we did was we took the x that was in f, and we put this entire function in instead. So what I've written right here is f of g inverse, and now we're supposed to evaluate that at 4. So we just plug in 4 for x. So we get 1 over negative 4, or sorry, square root of 4 plus 5 plus 2. 4 plus 5 is 9, so we have square root of 9, which is 3. Negative 3 plus 2 leaves you with a denominator of negative 1. So we just get negative 1, which is answer choice A. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.